We're going to be the big winners and losers on the restart for the final race at round four. Lloyd lights it up. Can Leeds stick with him? Vernon's gone with the two of them. He might be able to get a bit of a double toe here and pounce down at turn one. The two AGI teammates are next to each other. Brown all the way to the fence and Love really covered him. That was close. Interesting. He's on the inside of the yellow line. You can't Whoa. get any further over. Now he says, Whoa. I'll go around the outside. And makes it stick. Good job, Will Brown. Close racing between those two. Hayak, he wants to buy in for BRM. And no change at the front. With a oh, Love aggressively slams the door shut. Uh, it's probably a good move. He actually said, don't even think about it. <laughs> it's, uh, it's not on. He needs to try and fight for this position, Jordan Love. He really does. Because he's only one point ahead of Jimmy Vernon for the podium. So he can't lose that spot to Harry Hayek. Oh, and he's all the way over to the left-hand side trying to protect from Hayek. So we go over the top, bit of a wiggle from Vernon. There's a podium up for grabs here. This is second for the round and third for the round, potentially fighting it out, depending on what happens to Love, who's got his hands oh. full on the curbs. Hayek's he's through. Spot. Yep. Gretsch is through, and there goes the podium, surely. What a real shame. That safety car just killed that momentum that Jordan Love had. Look, he's done an outstanding job. We've got to remember he's only 16 years of age for a starter who's never been here before. And the race is not over. Still got six laps to run, providing we go full distance, depending on it is a time certain race. So we'll keep an eye on that. Randall now. Safety car's worked well for him. Yep. Up on the back of Vernon. Now, if Randall can get around Vernon, that might just put Love back on the podium. So it's not completely over. Plus, Love might be able to pick off one or two spots at the end and get them back. Here is that battle for third. Third on the racetrack, but also could have repercussions for the round podium. And Randall just needs to gather as many points as he can here because Lloyd's on for pretty much the perfect 82 for the weekend. And Randall's looking at getting 48, so that's losing a lot of ground in the championship right there. Still the next round for JK Formula 4 is the Gold Coast. Anything can happen up there. From there we head to Phillip Island, a nice purpose-built open wheeler racetrack. And then the grand finale all the way to December at Homebush. So still a lot of racing to go. Anything can happen. Which is why Randall just needs to gather as many points now and hope that he gets a little bit of luck in those last three races. And like he said, anything can happen at Surface Paradise. There's lots of walls, lots of curves. Maybe, you know, you never know. Lloyd might have some of those uh, issues along the way like Randall's had. We're talking about mechanical things here. They don't always work to 100%. And if uh, Lloyd does get just a little bit of bad luck, maybe Randall will be able to pounce in this championship later on in the championship scenario when we get to those last few rounds. But he needs to get the points now while he can. And a test day for all these drivers next Wednesday at Phillip Island. So they get to have a good hit out at a track we're running at in a couple of months' time. So, home circuit, certainly for Thomas Randall. Jordan Lloyd also done a lot of racing there in Formula Ford in the past. Vernon now under a lot of pressure from Thomas Randall. Every position counts for his championship. Will he have a look at the inside? No, sits up the back of the gearbox. And as you mentioned, if he gets past Vernon, he could have a very close battle for that third in the round. In fact, they could be tied on points, which would go to Vernon for finishing the highest position in the last race. What are we looking at here? On the restart. Oh, this is an amazing move by Brown. Gets shut down once. So he just followed him and then launched it around the outside down at turn one, which was very bold. Yeah, Love nice seeing a move on the outside. That's open wheel stuff. Get it done around the outside. Use the arrow. Use the tyre. Great job here by Jimmy Vernon. He hasn't made a mistake. Hasn't locked the brake. Hasn't run wide. Just he knows he's got the current Formula Ford champ right up behind him. And he had a little bit of bad luck getting... Turned around in the race on Saturday, race one, so he's fought back well. Leeds has not let Lloyd get away here. I asked if he's got his family here being a, a local round. So Dad's over in Singapore. My little sister's got a cheerleading comp on, so Mum's do, doing that this weekend. Here on his own. His son yeah. must have dropped him to the circuit because he doesn't even have his L plates yet <laughs> on the road. So he obviously got a lift in with the team. He's actually driving very well in two, two one hundreds faster than Jordan Lloyd last time round, so fastest lap of the race so far going to Lewis Leeds. We ride on board with him. Look at that, good vision there. That's what you wanted to always look through the corner. Good example there of picking the line and looking up into the distance. Shows you the bumps. Shows you how much his head and hands move around. Even in a straight line, he's going dead straight there. And look how much his helmet moves. Look how much the steering wheel bounces around in his hands. It's never easy. Wait till you get the exit of this corner and look at the bumps in the middle of the racetrack here. Watch this. Bang, bang, bang. 
all the way right into turn two. So you're just carrying so much mid corner speed. Fastest lap of the race on that last lap. A 1.14.4. Only a couple of tenths off the lap record, I think. Yeah. Except one day. Yeah, we saw a 1.14.1 from Lloyd yesterday. Can you get on to the back of Jordan Lloyd's gearbox near the top? Can you go flat through here this time? Has he got the confidence? Yeah, he does. That's better. Oh, he actually gave time, didn't he? He actually got a toe sort of down the hill. Oh, it's back on here too. Between Randall and Vernon. Jimmy Vernon certainly hasn't had to drive defensively yet, like we've seen some of that happening down the front straight. He hasn't had to cover his line. He's just kept his eyes forward. So oh, Randall just a little bit of understeer. Big corner there. Lost the car length or so off the turn. And Leeds is nearly back under the gearbox of Jordan Lloyd. So we've got two laps to run. And he's actually closed up. A huge effort. There's the times on that last lap through. Leeds the fastest out of the lot. He's within half a second of the race leader. This is the battle for third. It's good seeing Burden get the luck that he deserves. These two got together in Townsville as we saw in that little highlights reel earlier. So Burden won't be willing to go handing anything to Thomas Randall in a hurry. He was very disappointed at the end of that race, Burden. Handled himself well. And Leeds has actually got close enough that Lloyd was peeking in his mirrors then. So he's doing enough to distract him. Same goes for these two. Look how close they are. Across the top, down towards Dandenong Road. Randall gaps the curb. He has a little think about it. Maybe last lap you'll be thinking. That could be the spot. That was a smart, decisive move not to go down the inside because it would have ended up in contact most probably. Wasn't quite far enough then. Got a better run that time. And at least he knows if he is closer and gets a better run up over the hill into Dandenong Road, that's an option. Whether Vernon will cover the line. Final lap. And it's actually on here still for the lead and third position. And, and Wolf Brown was four tenths of a second quicker than these two on that last lap, so he might just be on the back of this battle at the end. Final lap for the weekend in what's been a ripper round of Cam's Jayco Formula 4. Randall with so much speed, but just no way through. And Wolf Brown is just about there, so this might even be a three or four car battle for third at the end. Leeds has finally been broken by Lloyd here. Lloyd just in the fastest lap of the race on that last lap, so it looks like he's done enough. He's answered the call. Oh, and I think he's maybe made half a mistake too. Yeah. So just trying hard, pushing, trying to carry probably a little bit more mid-corner, which meant he needed more on the exit and just ran off the road. So this is the man to catch. He's got one hand on the Jayco prize, the Jayco way to the world, the pathway to the world, $150,000 at the end of the year, and he's looking really good. For the first time in Cam's Jayco Formula 4, we see a perfect weekend. Pole, three race wins, and congratulations to Jordan Lloyd, who has done it in convincing fashion. He beats on Lewis Leeds for race two. And in the background, we see Vernon hang on for third in the race, third in the round, and that is very much deserved. His first podium. Second time he's finished third in a race, but first time he's finished third for the round. And Lloyd has, like you said, one hand on the trophy. 150k up for grabs at the end of this championship half out of the world he has his sights firmly set on Europe and maybe even the USA where he's raced before that's how they wound up at the end of a busy 15 lapper Leeds was impressive but couldn't quite get around Lloyd Vernon held off the pressure from behind Will Brown inside the top five as well and Jordan Love should still hang on for the Burson Rookie of the Round award congratulations to him on a good weekend here at Sandown Zane Goddard unfortunately